This next movie about MEX on the iPad is actually explaining the asset register to you. All the things that the asset register has in it. By clicking on the assets button, it'll bring up your asset tree. Now, this is actually a tree type structure. It's been compressed and to view down through any one, you just click on it and the details of that item will be displayed on the right hand side. How deep can you go? If I was to look at this factory here, it is unlimited levels deep. You just keep adding items into the tree. How do you add them in? Really easy. Just select any item, say in this case production line number one, and this is the details of it, and just add a new child to it. Of course, to, if, if you want to add something to the top level, just press on new level one. Now, for any of these items, as you can see, we can keep drilling down, but I'll stay with, uh, we'll go for this particular item, the flat work ironer, and we want to look at the details of it. Initially, we see quite a few details of it on the, the main menu here of the asset, asset register. There are many actions you can perform here, and by clicking on that button there, you can actually delete an item, duplicate the entire tree, which means the entire tree and all the children, move something um, around and even rename an asset. Oftentimes in maintenance management we need to rename assets because we get it wrong. But for that item there, I'll just cancel out of that and we'll go and look at the details of it. Now what details can we have? Uh, well, firstly, the tree structure. Secondly, a number of different things, account codes, asset types, manufacturers. Do you know who the customer is that actually owns this? Who the contractor is that looks after it? Um, you know, safety notes which will appear on every work order, even an image. Now, as being an iPad, if I was to actually get rid of that image, I'll say yes. And now, to go back there, oh, we actually don't have any images saved here. That's a shame. But we could have just chosen directly from the album that's actually on the iPad or used the camera to take a photo. In this instance, I'm actually using this in an emulating package and it will not work. Then there's a variety of tabs across the top that actually show you a variety of information, serial numbers, addresses, um, you know, your depreciation, your purchasing, your expected values. Um, if you hire this item out, you know, what are you going to be hiring it for? Um, and even to the point of user-defined fields where you can make up your own fields to describe the asset. And if you go to actions here, it's easy enough to add a new one in or duplicate something. So that's just a quick view of what the asset register is like on the iPad version of Mix.